so you can see that guys speed is very fast i move this see it's lowering down see this is very fast speed of the train now it's low down a bit i move it further see it's lowering down further the more the potentiometer i move the more the speed of the train changes see it is decreasing with every rotation of the potentiometer see i rotated further it has decreased further now i rotated further see that it has decreased further now i rotated further now it's very slow see now i go in the opposite direction see let it come back then it will change the speed as per the potentiometer value see it has increased now i rotate it further to increase the speed see that it has further increased now we rotate it further see that it has further increased hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm going to show you first of all we will blink leds in train formation then in this video i will show you how you can control the speed of that train using a potentiometer and the microcontroller we are going to use is the pic 16 f 77a so we will have an adjustable speed control of led blinking in train formation so let's get started so first of all this is our pic 16 f 77a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version this is the potentiometer i'm talking about it has total of 3 pins now let's connect it so guys as you can see i named the rightmost pin if you hold it like this as ground center where adjustable or an adc pin or the leftmost is the vcc pin ground will go or oh sorry vcc will go to the vcc pin of your pick like this ground will go to the ground of your pick like this and for the adjustable pin or the adc pin the centermost pin of this potentiometer you can use any available adc pin of your pick i am going to use pin number a and 0 that is the pin number 2 of the pick 16 f77a microcontroller so you can use the other adc pins if available in your project i have all the available so i am going to use a plus one a and 0 now guys Uh, these are the seven LEDs I am going to use to form a train. Then, guys, let let me show you how to connect them with a pick. You know that each LED has two pin. One is longer, one is shorter. You common all the shorter pin of the LEDs like this. Then you send it to the common ground of your pick like this. Remember that always the shorter pin of this five mm mm five mm crystal type LED is the ground pin. and normally with all the leds the shorter pin is the ground pin you cannot shuffle this with the power pin so this always goes to the ground now for the power pin of each led you will need a 220 ohm resistor or you can use a resistor from 100 to maximum of 500 ohm value this is basically a safety resistor which makes sure that the your led don't gets burned now guys to connect it first of all we we'll go for this bottom most led you connect the power pin with the one end of the 220 ohm resistor then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor you can use any available digital input output pin of your pick i am going to use a pin number b0 now for the second led i connect the power pin directly with the 220 ohm resistors one end like this then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor i connect it to the pin number b1 like this then for the third led i connect power pin directly to the to one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor i am going to send it to the pin number b2 like this now for the fourth led from the bottom i will connect power pin to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor i am going to send it to the pin number b3 of the pick now for the fourth led i will connect the power pin to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor i am going to send it to the pin number b4 like this now for the uh, top second led I will connect the power pin to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this. Then from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, I am going to send it to the pin number B5 like this. Now, for the last LED topmost, I connect power pin to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor. Then, like all others, from the other end of the 220 ohm resistor, I send it to the pin number B6. In this way, my seven LEDs are connected on the port B. So, let me introduce introduce you to the hardware before we proceed further. Now, guys, these are the seven LEDs. As you can see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is the seventh LED here. And this is the potentiometer here. You can see that that we are going to use to control the triggering speed of the LEDs. 
see that this is a potentiometer right here and these are the LEDs so now guys this is our micro C4 pick I am going to use to program it let's zoom in it's version 7.2.0 7.5.0 is also available and you can also use a higher version as well depending upon the availability I click on file new new project then this window pops up new project wizard click on next write the name of the project the I write LED train adjustable speed learning micro controller tutorial then select the path project folder then the device name pick 16 f 7 is the one I'm going to use the crystal I'm going to use a 20 megahertz crystal click on next and finish now guys this window will pop up here before doing anything else first of all press ctrl s to save your work like this now guys go to the right select the libraries in this project we will need the EDC library because we have a potentiometer which works on the EDC pin so we check mark it now we initialize the EDC pins write down EDC underscore INIT double bracket and give some initialization delay 20 millisecond will do fine now guys all the EDC pins of the pick have been initialized by using this command and we are only going to need the one pin but we initialize the complete module using this library now the next thing is our LEDs our LEDs are on the port B so we make the whole port B go output like this press B equals to 0 cross 0 0 means all the pins of the port B 8 pins of the port B are now output and the initially all the LEDs must be off so this is the initial state like in case of an Arduino it's digital right and this like in case of an Arduino is pin mode so pin mode is output and initial state is zero all the LEDs are off by default now give some initialization delay just copy this 20 millisecond delay here like this now we have our LEDs and we have our potentiometer pin initialized we can go for the forever loop now write down while one forever loop starts here ends here just uh, first of all we will need to get the value from the potentiometer for that we will need a variable which will store the value I write int integer value this is the variable and I paste it here and write the command adc underscore read from channel 0 now this is the syntax of the command this is the variable which will store the value and this is the channel I am using pin number a0 that is pin number 2 a and 0 so I wrote 0 if you are using pin number 1 then you will simply write 1 the data is coming from the channel 1 so that's all now give some initialization delay 10 will do fine you can go without these delays as well I just give them for the safety purpose okay now the thing is we turn on the port uh, we have to make a train on the port B so for that we will need the delays as well so first of all we write port B dot F0 LED at F0 equals to 1 this will turn on then we will go on one by one all the LEDs this is for the 2 this is for 3 and then make it make it 6 by just copy pasting it and now just make it 7th LED now this is for the 7th LED write down B0 F0 F1 F2 F3 F4 F5 F6 okay these are the 7 LEDs they are on now now after that we have to give some delay for the turning them on then after turning on they will turn off one by one in the opposite sequence now again copy them paste paste this here like this now make it opposite first of all make them zero all the LEDs have to turn off like this now in the opposite formation f6 will come first then f5 f4 f3 f2 f1 and f0 like this now guys the thing is we need to give delays in the center but our delay this delay ms if we give value inside it this will not work see we need to control the delay through the pentameter value but this will not work here i built the code see it will give an error here because this is not valid you have to write something manually 
So this is not possible. What we are going to do here is that we simply make a delay MS1, then we do put a forever loop. We will repeat this. So I take another variable like int. I make it turn. Then I write here delay. Or oh sorry, do while I use a do while loop. You can use a for loop as well. Do and then after that I write while while what it should be that we have a variable here turn turn equals to turn plus one like in case of for loop you write, write i plus plus i just wrote turn plus one it will increment by every repetition and turn is always less than the value now this is important see here what is happening here what is happening here is that we could not write delay variable inside the delay so we use this now this one millisecond delay will be repeated sorry it's while here w for while see and it's ending bracket like this now this is a do while loop now turn will keep on keep on repeating whatever the uh, counter is counter will keep on repeat until the value is not equal to the value value is given by our potentiometer and the values maximum is 2 power 10 2 s to power 10 equals to 1024 so if you want to uh, by default it will be 1024 with 1 millisecond now this is a multiplication factor if you want to go like uh, the this will be the delay of 1000 sec one second if you keep it one at max when the potential meter is rated at the maximum value if you go lower it will keep on lowering down this value will lower down and the reputation will lower down this will cause the delay to lower down so that's how we gonna make it work so we make a function out of it because we have to place it be between every all the steps so we write here void we make a function like delay a i write this starting here and ending here inside it we just uh, move all this and then the term has to become zero term equals to zero so uh, again the delay is reset if you don't make it zero the next delay will get bypassed so we cut it and we place it inside the function now it's a function here now we only have to use this delay a command wherever we want the delay and to change the multiplicative factor you simply change this so first of all we will go with the one that will be the minimum like minimum potentiometer value will be the one millisecond delay very fast then maximum is the one second but if you multiply it you can change the values with the multiplicative factor now first of all first LED turns on like this and then we give some delay which will be controlled by the potentiometer this is delay A, then for the second LED, then the third LED will be on after some delay, then the fourth LED, then the fifth LED, and then our sixth LED, then they will turn off, then the next LED will turn off, then the sixth LED will turn off, fifth LED, four, and in the same formation, these all will turn off, and again, the program will be ready to repeat. So we build this code and burn it and see what happens. So the code is built. So let's go to the hardware and uh, go to the micro C for pick programming tool. I go to the file. I select the file I just created. I click on write. Let me zoom out. And let's get to the hardware. Okay, this LED is connected to the pin number B6, which is pin number 39, and that is also part of the picket 3. Pin. so it blinks whenever it's coding so it's done we power it up using the picket 3 software so let's power it up i click on on okay it's very fast it means the potentiometer is at maximum value i remove it see it is slowing down so it has slowed down see that the train has slowed down i slow it down further i bring it to the maximum rotation now this is the slowest speed with a delay of one see each LED turns on after after one second like this you can see that it is a slow speed now I rotate it and I will keep on increasing the speed the once it completes a loop then it changes the speed it will not change the speed in the center because it's a sequential code see now the speed will be changed see it's changed it's faster now I bring it to further value like this it will be more faster now See that, 
see it's even faster i make it more faster for the next turn now we rotate it further each rotation has an impact on the speed see it's more faster i make it more faster like this now let it go now the speed will change see it's even faster than before now i change it further now this will be even more faster see the value is changing because our reputation of the loop depends upon the value given from the potentiometer so more the value coming from the potentiometer adcp in the faster the blinking speed will be so i move it further now it will be even more faster see it has increased now i move it further it will be more faster in the next turn see it's even more faster i make it further faster now it will be more faster see so guys if you want to change this multiplicative factor that maximum value of the potentiometer should change then you simply have to do is that you have to go to the programming and you only have to change this delay in this function this now it's one if you make it 10 like it will be multiplication of 10 whatever the resolution is multiply by 10 will be the maximum value uh, now at the, this time it's one so it means that maximum is the one second delay so I hope you guys learned something from this video. So guys, thank you very much for your time. The there will be a Google Drive link for the micro C for pick files uh, in the description of this video. If you have any comment or queries, you can ask them in the comment. Thank you very much for your time guys and have a nice